the data lake house kind of looks like this, right? Where you basically set up a vertical cluster. It can be one node or it can be 50 nodes. Uh, and that cloudian can act on uh, Cloudian in two ways, uh, the Cloudian object store. Uh, first, it can act as a, a, a main repository for the data warehouse. So I can store all the data in the data warehouse in Cloudian, and it will act you know, just like a data warehouse with ACID compliance, with speed, with performance. Uh, and it can also act as a data lake. So I can store things like Parquet files and Avril files and uh, JSON files in external tables in Cloudian. And then I can access, access those as a data lake with Vertica. And if I want to hook that up and also connect MicroStrategies or Power BI or Tableau, I can do that for the visualization tool for both of those. And to the analysts, it doesn't really matter whether it's a data lake or data warehouse. It kind of looks the same to them. I can also use just straight SQL or Python or Jupyter Notebooks if I want to access that data. So here with this Cloudian solution, uh, it's a data lake, it's a data warehouse, it's a way to take stuff from Hadoop and offload it uh, if you're having performance issues around Hadoop. Uh, it's, it offers data protection and disaster recovery. So a really good solution for doing analytics in your organization.